so when we designed LTE or 4G, we designed it based on our experience with 3G. So it was really about mobile broadband as the first uh, and turned out to be the most important application. With 5G, we're actually designing it from ground up to be an enabler for all industries. So the design principles are there. Now, it remains to be seen if the operators will take advantage of this capability to transforming all other industries. I'm optimistic, but the early indications are that the mobile broadband will emerge as the first application of 5G as well. So I think there is a need for change, significant changes in both operational as well as business side of the telecom industry. In the operational side, we will see deployment models in uh, 5G that we have not seen with previous generations. This could be the first time that you build, rather than for coverage, maybe for capacity. This will be the first time that you will build for different aspects of the uh, Network, for example, it's low latency capabilities as opposed to providing the same service to everyone. So it will be very much tailor-made and that has a direct impact on how we operate and what kind of services we offer. So OSS and BSS have to be retaught. But I think it's time now to think about that. Maybe before that we did not have enough understanding of 5G capabilities to do this properly. So I think uh, the first thing to realize is that many uh, of the services offered in the 5G era will be B2B and OSS and VSS are primarily a B2C kind of activity. So that's the reimagining that I envision for those two elements. I think the key there is getting better insight from the network and getting much more automation into the operations. So what I mean by that is uh, mobile networks, as we all know now, uh, have a lot of data that can be really mined fruitfully for the operation of the network itself. And I think that's the direction that we've seen our services organizations take. And I think it is the right way to look at it. Let's use the machine learning, artificial intelligence techniques to really optimize the network in a dynamic and very time sensitive manner. So let me first describe what network slicing means to me. So network slicing means that using the same common fabric, you are able to deliver different services. And the role of operations here is actually one of automation. Again, automation is the key in operations of 5G. 5G will have many more base stations, if you will, than we've, we're used to in LTE. Therefore, it is important for us to automate as much as possible. So I think this is the key deliverable from an operational perspective. Give us the right algorithms, give us the right optimization techniques that can be used to optimize this network, which will have many different characteristics for different applications that run on the same fabric. I think uh, since we're talking about 5G, let's stay with 5G. And my prediction is that we will see the first deployment of 5G. This will happen in Korea. We have very clear evidence of it. But we also see an industry take a step back, meaning that it will reevaluate some of the earlier predictions, such as use of millimeter wave as a generic technology, and come back to the reality that, yes, capacity is the driver today, but coverage would also be necessary if we are to create that common fabric. And coverage is only really possible at lower frequencies. So we'll be looking at below 6 gigahertz frequencies as the driver. The other thing is that, uh, we'll also realize that the ecosystem is so large that we should take advantage of this scale. And we'll be looking at creating the new radio, which is what 5G is all about initially, uh, in a standardized manner. And we're, I'm optimistic that we will see much closer uh, standards coming to, fin uh, to be finalized in 2018.